This match is now underway, and John Cena, the multi-time champion, the international superstar, one of the most respected men in WWE, is set for action. The only thing that would make this match more enjoyable to watch would be if I was calling it without you two bozos interrupting me. Kick to the gut and oh, oh, brutal forearm. Knee drop. That was nasty. So precise. Ah, what a smash. That is just insulting. Oh, he's got him here. He's got him up. And oh! This is absolute rage from Harper. He's taking charge here. John Cena is perhaps the most dominant competitor in WWE history. Is there any strategy that can work against Big Match John? When you compete at the level that Cena has for as long as he has, injuries pop up. Nothing chronic, but he's definitely got a few target areas that an opponent should look out for. Producing a trampling. What a suplex. We discussed John Cena's injuries earlier, and Byron, I'm wondering, how would you target them? Well, I'm too honorable personally to attack injuries, but if I was meaner, I'd stop the tricep he tore against Daniel Bryan at SummerSlam and then yank the shoulder that kept him sidelined in 2016. Of course, this is all hypothetical. Going for it again. John Cena. Here's Cena. Hey! The pain window beckons. That is exactly what John Cena needed. John Cena wins! Here is your winner, John Cena! This one's over, folks. John Cena picks up the win. John Cena won tonight, showing the true power of hustle, loyalty, and respect. And it'll be interesting to see the ripple effects